Welcome back to the three months of modal logic, the sequel to 100 days of logic or logic 201 here with Carnades.org. Today we're going to be continuing epistemic logic and in fact looking at basically our last video in epistemic logic on the negative introspection axiom. Stay tuned to the end of the video to find out what we'll be doing next. So, axiom five, we may remember, from a big debate in Alethic modal logic about whether or not system four or system five was a better representation of what we understand as possible worlds. Basically, axiom five looks something like this. If it's possible that A, then it's necessary that it's possible that A. We also had epistemic and doxastic versions of axiom five, and generally all of these axiom fives we concluded were pretty strong. For justification logic, we're also going to have a version of axiom 5. It's going to look like the negative introspection axiom. Basically, this is what it says. The negative introspection axiom is going to map onto axiom 5 from our other modal logics. It states that if it is not the case that P justifies B, then P is sufficient to claim that it is not the case that P justified b. Basically what we're saying is that if it's not the case that p justifies some belief b, then having the belief that p is sufficient justification for the claim that it's not the case that p justifies b. So if in fact it is the case that p does not justify b, then simply having the piece of evidence p justifies the claim that it's not the case that P justifies B. So we can justify the negation of our justification via simply that piece of justification that is not justification for B. So if it is not the case that seeing smoke justifies the claim that there is fire, then seeing smoke is sufficient justification for the claim that it is not the case that seeing smoke justifies that there is fire fire. It's a little confusing. Hopefully that example gives you a bit of a sense of what this axiom means. You'll note that it is going to be a little bit stronger than axiom 4, and some people may have problems with it, but we're not going to get into those debates right now. We're just going to say that if we add this to systems J4 or J4T, It'll give us J45 and J4T5, respectively. The same will apply for particular constant specifications of J or other such systems like J0. Now, if you've been following us along all this way, I'm very impressed. Fantastic job. We've made it to 90 videos into the three months of modal logic and 190 videos in if you count the 100 days of logic as well. We have only 10 days left and just like with the 100 days of logic, we did a special final 10 days of logic here with the three months of modal logic we're going to be doing next, a final 10 days of modal logic. We're going to be talking about a wide variety of subjects and hopefully delving a little bit deeper into some of the concepts that we may have just mentioned briefly in the previous videos. Watch a new video every single day for just 10 more days here at Carnades.org and stay skeptical, everybody.